was that, were you in the end zone for the two point conversion? Were you the opposite side of the play? No, I was to the side of the play. Was that going to you? Yeah, it was, it was, it was really a, a read off the cornerback, but um, when I went in motion, they had somebody follow me, so they cleared that side and we was, out, we was outnumbered. You like, you like the call at home? Yeah. Nothing to lose. Oh yeah, I, I like the call. I'm, I'm an aggressive guy myself, so I like taking shots and taking chances. I guess, uh, is it? Uh, I guess, would you guys have liked to have more of an offense instead of just waiting to that last drive to get something going? And what was, I guess, what was the problem in getting the offense going tonight? I mean, we <clears throat> we know the team that we start off slow, and then when the second half comes, we start to make big plays and start getting out getting our things together. But we know that we had to come out faster and start off faster. You um, <clears throat> being an underclassman and playing with these seniors who wanted to go out with a win, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Just talk about some of the things you may have learned from this senior class and what you want to use. I mean, how do you want to use that to approach next season? I learned from them, dude. I learned how to. We we started playing fast and started playing tougher, and we took we take a lot of criticism from from everybody, from the media and everything. So we know we that stuff made us strong as a team, and and I learned from them that. You can't let a lot of things get in your head. You just have to ignore a lot of things and still play ball. So, um, did you, did you I guess, go up to any of them after the game and give them some of the advice, just talk to them a little bit? Oh, yeah, I told them after the game. I told them keep their heads up, and I told all of them I love them because I love all of them like they're my brothers because we're a team.